So, um, before anything, this, for this video to start, just want to say that this was before I got my new mic, and this was a while back. So, if you don't hear this kind of qual uh, voice quality from me, then, yeah, this is why. This might be funnier. Okay. While walking down a street in your neighborhood, you find a black briefcase clearly marked highly di highly confidential information and closed. Do not <coughs> open under any any circumstances. What do you do? Bribe the president. First of all, <laughs> in black the geniusness is. of that. Oh, I was one time he talks, he has the best idea ever. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Poof. Mine just exploded. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, bribe the president. That's j wait, what if it's not the president's stuff? <laughs> bribe but, that the doesn't countries. matter. <laughs> like, I mean, oh, yeah, it, but if he doesn't know, that he wants to know because it's it's highly confidential. And every president wants to know anything that's highly confidential. Uh huh. Then again, they could just shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> The first is you're kind, you're kind of you're kind of you're kind of you're kind of in a good position. Then you, then you can't you're also kind of screwed. Could shoot I mean, me, but like, then again, I could. You could. You could. You could. What would you do with that briefcase? What would I do with that briefcase? Yes, I'd walk into a store very conspicuously and uh, just pat it slowly while staring at somebody specifically, <laughs> and just make sure they know that I am touching some conspicuous case and then at one point just leave the case down and walk away and see what <laughs> people do you, mm -hmm. you, you know what's an even better idea than that you go through airport security and then let <laughs> them find out what's in it <laughs> and then execute them exactly but what if Terrorist they arrest attacks. you you haul ass like, of course but, but what if they take the well, you know well, I mean, it's a highly confidential briefcase, so I mean, if they're going to try and arrest you, you might as well smack them across the face with it. <laughs> you know, Francis, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say what Dwayne Johnson says. There are no what-ifs for, for achieving. <laughs> there are no what-ifs if you want to achieve. I don't know about what that. If, what if you're going to die? <laughs> so what? <laughs> Hashtag YOLO. YOLO, that's right. Except you live every fucking day and you die once. Hold on, I'm gonna try and balance a book on my head. What the fuck? I don't know. This textbook's been sitting here for like the past four months, and I, uh, I thought I'd he's die. talking about a book. He actually means a confidential briefcase. No, I'm talking about my world history book that's just been sitting here, and that I haven't opened it. Uh, okay. Oh shit! What the fuck? I just found a pretty good uh, question. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, I I kind of want to finish this question. Yeah, I know. Okay. So. I think bribing the president would be a video. Bribing anyone with this highly confidential information and clothes, do not open any under any circumstances briefcase, would probably be one of the best ideas. I, wait, that, no, 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 no. I don't see why you would give it to the president when you know for sure that you're going to get shot at. I'd give it to the mafia. How do you know you're going to get shot? The president's more trustworthy wait, the than mafia? the mafia. No, he's talking about Secret Service. Yeah, actually, that's a pretty good idea. I mean, if you get the Mafia, because Mafia are fucking crazy. If you go to the Mafia, you tell them, hey, I've got this confidential fucking shit, and you make <laughs> sure they don't shoot you in the face before you can finish talking. No, 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 no. You can get a here, deal here, with them. No, no, here's the thing why I do it with the Mafia. is because that the Mafia are like freaking like security bugs. Guys, right? with the they Mafia, you're going to get yeah, shot either way. No, 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 no because just, you don't know what the Mafia will do. They don't, you don't no, know. Brent, you don't understand. What if you open it up and it's just like a pillow or something inside? <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck is this? And then they're that gonna ends. shoot you because they paid millions of dollars for it. No, 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 no. They wouldn't shoot me because they checked the pillow. What's in there? That gives me time to run away with the money. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The mafia will shoot you first <laughs> and just take the briefcase from you. So either way, whether you talk to the president and get shot by because Secret they don't want to lose any money. Since they don't want to lose any money, they don't want to lose any money. They're gonna go. They're gonna shoot you. They're gonna, they're gonna give take the briefcase, give you the money, shoot you, take the money back, drag your body, dump it in the ocean, and you'll be living with Osama bin Laden for the rest of your life, hey, along with SpongeBob hey, and Patrick. Why? Why'd they shoot you twice? 
Because they're gonna shoot you twice when they find out it's a pillow. They're gonna back it, go back <laughs> and shoot you off. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if it's no, a we hate. edition Lucky Star? I no. mean, I'd fucking buy it even if I was a mafia that like boy. Finish. That's why you yeah. bring. That's why you bring security guards with you, and then you make sure you look like a badass, like you're like from the freaking. I don't know. Where the fuck did you get the security guards from? Did you bribe them as well? <laughs> First, the you hired price. him. No, no, you or hired him. They double cross you. They won't yeah, hire them with what money? Bank loans. <laughs> but if they know the that you have that the suitcase, maybe they'll take it and like do the switcheroo with it. Oh, they yeah. won't do the switcheroo because you'll have the briefcase with you at all times. Well, then, if you walk into a bank with a fucking conspicuous briefcase that says "Do not open," <laughs> I'm I'm fairly sure the first thing they'll do is close all the fucking like Wait, windows with that metal thing. Would you know what's in the briefcase before you pass it to them? Because if you don't, you could be out of your luck. Wait. It could Wait. have like the keys to like Titanic or something inside. <laughs> Yeah, because the Titanic is going to sure fucking help you. I, mean, <laughs> I always wanted a fucking incredibly old boat that is... I love submarine boring. boats. They're so amazing. <laughs> oh, I want the keys to the Titanic just so that I can start it up and have it blow up on me again. Wait, what if it has the souls of a million people inside? Well, that's going to be... Dude, even then we worse. can feed the thresh. Oh, yes. <laughs> so much AP. <laughs> Last thing I want is to walk into a fucking boat with like millions of souls that are just trying to tell me why didn't she let that one guy onto the plank that actually <laughs> had space? That's probably the only thing I'm gonna hear from the entire time. I would be like, <laughs> bitch, you threw that diamond in the ocean, you stupid. <laughs> Gosh, she was so stupid for doing that. Why did she do that? The best question. All right. Threw the diamond into I, I think Francis. Francis would. Would you want to answer this? Hmm? Would you want to answer if you found that briefcase? I already told you. He, did. he already did. He was the he, first. So, so basically, he just wants to bribe the prince. Okay, so we basically answered in a random, um, not really specific order. But <laughs> Yuki said he found a nice question. question. Um, if you could somehow control the weather and add an additional season to the year, what season would it be? It could be any type of season that you want. <laughs> oh, McDonald's oh, oh. season. <laughs> Wait a, <laughs> dude, that's already that's that's a year long season. That's like, <laughs> yeah, that's a year long America. season in America. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh wait, okay. I guess I'm supposed to answer. Do you want sure. to? I don't know. I I guess I'll add. I'll, I mean, for the sake of Steven, I'll put a season where specifically over North Korea, um, acid rain. Will happen that entire season for about three Thank months. Thank you, Lord. I hope maybe you. <laughs> there you go. I've been that nice to person. Thank you. Thank you, Sergeant. That's you're welcome. At least now we don't blow up North Korea mm. and cause just let them die of... painfully to acid. I got yes. they're, 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 they'll die naturally though. They won't die from from fucking nukes setting oh, off their really particular. <laughs> Just like, yeah, South Korea's over there, sunshine and rainbows, and then those Koreans dying. I mean, like, <laughs> it'll just be an unexpected, unexpected tragedy. Like, you'll be over here, and, and suddenly you'll hear in the news, like, breaking news, North Korea has suddenly been wiped out the map by a natural <laughs> phenomenon. And it, you're just like, oh, okay. China's going to be like, what the fuck? I... Uh, okay, I guess we don't have to support North Korea anymore, and there's going to be no war. It's just going to be a natural, unexpected death. I Except there's going to be millions of conspiracies afterwards, but still. Nobody would, gives a fuck about North Korea. I would recreate Avatar, the movie, where a whole bunch of spirits would just come out from the ground, man. I would be absolutely fucking terrified. Like, I could be sitting there. <laughs> I, could, I could be sitting there masturbating, and suddenly a fucking spirit comes out like, what the fuck? That'd be scary. That'd be scary, actually. Yeah. I mean, unless I got a blowjob from the spirit, I, I, I don't yeah, know about you. I'm long. fucking terrified. <laughs> what if it was a man and you didn't even know about it? Because it's a fucking. What if spirit. it was a feminine man, huh? Have you seen? They have sex with their hair. Wait, why, why, hold on. Let me look at this up. What, what, what do you see? <laughs> this? What? Uh, okay, Google. Google <laughs> feminine man sex and start playing some. 
weird ass porn, Kevin. Okay, anyways. So, um, I think I, I would make one of the best. I would make this season where it only it would only last for one week, and somehow it's a season. I would put that season in. It's called annoying season. Oh, and basically, what's it gonna do is that at, at certain points in time of each day, there's gonna be like random music going on within the world, like it, it broadcasting everywhere, and you and like no, no, not not random music. Rick roll. At each no, no, no. at each. It's gonna like in in America. It's gonna say something like like um. It's gonna speak um. If everybody you talk to spoke in a different language compared to what you were listening to. Yeah, but then if you go to Japan and then like it, you just hear like the the weather speaking French or something. So you just like if you go to America and then it's that China, you would always want to figure out what they're saying, why are they saying it, wait, wait, wait. And what's going dude, on. Dude, dude, dude. Speaks French. Anything speaks French, like. Uh, okay, what? No, no. So, like pretty much kind of like French. this, like, like, you're talking to a rock. What he's saying is just, like, rant, like, song? everybody you talk yeah. to. Hey, uh, whoever's playing the song, <laughs> please stop, please stop. Uh, <laughs> Don't, like, yeah, you're gonna give us copyright, I'm serious. Yeah, no, Wh whoever you oh. talk to, like, will, uh, will speak a different language, pretty much. <clears throat> or, like, everything you look at, like, if you look at a Starbucks sign, it doesn't say Starbucks, it says, like, uh, I don't know. Starbucks is a... Cafe. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> Cafe. It, Cafe. it says like the most random shit that you won't understand. But I actually think on a psychological level, you would probably cause mass hysteria in the entire fucking planet because you would isolate everybody. Mm -hmm. It would be like a season where nobody can communicate with each other because nobody understands yeah, each that other. Season, it's called annoying season. Like, like even the people you love, it's just like, hey, hey mom. Dude, you are this a lot, but I love you. <laughs> 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 the fuck? Fuck off. Like, uh, fuck Joker. Why aren't you the fucking main like uh antagonist of a story? <laughs> You'll cause mass hysteria everywhere. Who me? Guys, I got yeah. a better one. <laughs> Continue. Uh, guys, I got a better one. Okay, so so think about this. Torrential downpour for a month. Wait, it torrential? is torrential downpour per, downpour for a month, and throughout the entire world, it is otaku month, and you stay in and watch anime all day. That's Akihabara, twenty four seven. That's Akihabara, twenty four seven. Wait, what? What's a torrential down? Like rain, it, like nonstop rain. Day, what, day. Wouldn't the world just be flooded? No, because well, then no, there's like about. we would actually need that water. Because there's like a drain, you know, like in the ocean. So then, like, like it drains into the core of the Earth, and well, then that's I'm utterly afraid of that. Then, <laughs> considering like what the ocean has right now, I really don't <laughs> want toxic shit like flying over my face. <laughs> I, mean, I know I talked about taking down North Korea with acid rain, but I don't want <laughs> acid rain coming back to take me out as well. No. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That would be that. I I'd vouch for that season. <coughs> well, yeah. What well, what season would you want? I already said my season. I didn't. Yeah, I did. Annoying day. No. That was annoying day. Holy fuck! <laughs> the season. The That's season where spirits would just come out from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> You're sitting there taking a dump and a dude comes out to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's just like, oh yeah, I'm just playing on my phone and then like the, the and then the spirit of Morgan Freeman, I can <clears throat> smell you. Oh god! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well at least at least that would help you finish taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't finish. You stay there even longer because it just like keeps producing. Morgan Freeman like, oh, giving oh, socks back up to take a poo. Like my mom. Okay. Is, imagine you're just in school and then they're just they're just teaching you and then and then like and then like Bill Billy Mays comes in. Billy Mays here. Oh shit. <laughs> the fuck? Since when did Avatar have Billy Mays? <laughs> Billy Mays. <laughs> it's like it's like you take a shit. You're about to finish, but wait, there's more. 
<laughs> like, oh, time to wet it wet my butt. Oh, my well, wait, there's more. Oh, 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 god damn it. Oh, so much more. <laughs> Alright, are we done with everybody? Did we miss anybody? I think we missed Francis, as always. Francis. You're missing many. Francis, what for season? You want, you want booby season where every, where every like for one month, all the mountains turn into uh, boobies for one day? No, everyone, everyone, about everyone. That because men have boobies too. So. No, no, all the chicks uh, go voluptu to Voluptuous women breasts. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the word voluptuous means, right? What if they're fat? I, nice. I think it's like nice, comfortable, and squishy or something. What if they're fat? Voluptuous, just like pretty much good. They thin out. How about that? What? Why don't you just say perky? Well, I don't. I don't think he wants like paper thin tits. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, mean, I understand. There's a certain like. All right, like, yeah, let me read you the yeah. definition of voluptuous. Okay. Um, describes a no. Describes a woman. No. Describes a, an experience or object that gives you a lot of pleasure because it feels extremely soft and comfortable, or it sounds or it looks extremely beautiful. Voluptuous breasts. All right. Voluptuous breasts. See, those mountains would turn into voluptuous women breasts. I, I, I and then in the eyes of women, they will see <laughs> voluptuous, vol uh, voluptuous denial uh, erection, um, um, balls. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I'm utter, like I, <laughs> and I, I wouldn't mind the giant fucking tits, but I'd be so afraid of like. I don't know. One day, a like, like, like a towering ball sack out there. No, 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 like, no, no, oh. no. Wait, then what would gay guys see? Would they see boobies or would they see wieners? <laughs> gay guys? I guess they would. No, I, they would I see, what about bisexual people? They would see the people? same thing in women's eyes. They'd see balls. Okay, see so wait, 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 it's wait. It's everyone's wait, wait. different perspective. Like, you look at a man and then the man sees, ooh, look, nice voluptuous uh, breasts. The woman sees, oh, a nice voluptuous balls. <laughs> and then if you're bisexual, ooh, nice voluptuous booby dick. <laughs> dick butt. <laughs> but like, uh, what? What if like a fucking pr plane crashed into giant tits and fucking milk squirted out and it just, <laughs> like your entire fucking life has been destroyed because a giant fucking burst of breast milk took out your city? <laughs> like you watched your grandma get taken out by a flood of breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> I, just can't, oh I can't imagine that happening. I mean, I just did, but still. No, that, that's that's so weird, Yuki. Dude, I mean, I understand that breast milk can bring life into your, like, into your life, into your yeah, life. You'd be creating new natural sculptures within the world by making breast milk. Hey, hey, well, this over here, that's like a tourist guy. This over here is the breast milk flowing river. You know, <laughs> that would actually give a new meaning to volcanoes. <laughs> He's like, oh god, it's erupting! Everyone, take out your cups! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I can't Everybody pull out the babies, quickly! <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I think I just absolutely destroyed my internet image. I am no longer the well-known, slightly well-known Let's hope YouTube. nobody watches the podcast to this far, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are now, we're in. Let's continue. Okay.